Hello again. So we are back to the time and triggers, and now we are looking at the lower section with the Bernoulli gate and with the ratchet generator in more detail. Both submodules need an input. These input can be taken from anywhere in the rack or from the sections right above it. So first we want to look at the coin toss randomizer again. I'm using a shorting bar. So now I just made a connection from this trigger input output to this trigger input. And we can see with the alternating red and green LED that the trigger that comes in has now a 50-50 chance of either ending up in output A or in output B. And if we put two cables in here, so now we can hear two different sounds. Now I dial this all the way to 100% left. Now only one sound will come out and now I'll do this to the other side. So it's a very simple but pretty effective way of getting some life, some randomization into a normally very, very boring trigger signal. The green reset mode button down there, if you hold this for a little while, you can see that the LED is now not blinking anymore, but it's either red or green. And that indicates that only when a trigger for the other side is being received, the module is outputting a new trigger. So it stays on red or on black, like in roulette, and then when a new trigger comes, then it will switch side and then it will output a new one. Now we switch this back to the other mode. Now every trigger will output it either to the left side or to the right side. So, on the other side, we have our ratchet and swing generator. I will now feed also this input with an output from the upper section. And I think I need to use another signal, one that is more stable, for the ratchet to be clear. And let's use this, this audio. Okay, so right now, we are getting the signal in from the upper section and you can hear that we have a very, very staccato just running trigger that just goes straight. If we now dial this a little bit back, we're introducing swing. Until here when we have the maximum. Take it out again, we have nothing. This section also has an alternative mode. To get into that one, I suggest to dial it here at 2 o'clock and then we have to hold this button for 10 seconds. That's a safety feature so you don't accidentally switch it into the other mode which is drastically different from this one. So now we are in the ratchet generator. The ratchet generator is a clock divider. Or multiplier. And the interesting thing about this one is it can be CV controlled. So by feeding any control voltage in the black inputs here, we can CV control the ratchet swing generator or the Bernoulli gate. So you can send your signal to the left or to the right output by choosing uh, the right control voltage. Yeah, that's basically all about that is to say for the ratchet and swing. Thank you.